cut both the women and the men's team, everyone was shocked, not just swimmers. Um, it's not something you want to hear. Um, I mean, it's my family, and, and now we're all splitting up, and you know, we'll still keep in touch. I keep in touch with the people I swim with, and, and I love them dearly, um, but it's just sad to see that the people, um, the incoming recruits don't get to experience what we experienced, and now I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to leave. I'm not gonna be able to stay, and that's another sad thing. Um, this is my home, I and mean, I've lived here for eight years, and, and, you know, WKU has been, like I said, extremely supportive and helpful, and, and to have to leave that, and, you know, it's, there's no team here to train with. With swimming, you can't train by yourself. It's, it's not productive. You don't have the support that you need on the everyday, daily things, and so it's, it would be impossible for me to stay. Um, you know, to have, have both programs suspended for five years, you know, that for swimming, that's a death sentence. A lot of people don't think it's coming back. Just talking to the other swimmers, it's heartbreaking. They thought the same thing I did about this, this team and this school, that this is a family. So I'm not worried about my future in swimming, but like, I think the only thing that we can do for them right now is to make sure that they know that they're not alone. I mean, it hits me every day, you know, you wake up and it's like, well, this, you know, you think it's a dream or a nightmare and, you know, it's not, it's real life.